Hey, you guys. Stuart Pittle, the most targeted individual. Hope you're having a good day. Most targeted citizen. Whew. Hope you're well. I'm wore out. Um, I'm wore out. Um, told you a while back about getting my buddy's freezers. He used to do taxidermy. Now he's old like me and can't do taxidermy anymore. So I came up with some food, with some chicken. And I need to get rid of it. I need to, well, not get rid of it. I need to get it in the cold. I need to freeze it. My freezer is full. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for filling my freezers. I think we got, Mason got three or four deer this year. And I got three or four raccoon and possum and something else. And then, um, then, you know, everything worked out. So now we got an excess of food in my freezer inside. It's full. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, the small freezer in my freezer is full. Thank you, Jesus. And my buddy had two freezers outside. So... Called him this morning and said, hey, you said you want to get rid of him, I'm going to empty it out. Let's do it. And he's like, well, all right, let's roll. So we, the big one, that thing was at least 1,000 pounds, completely full of ice, which would not freeze, and full of animals. Animals? Why would you keep animals? Whew, taxidermy. Animals. That thing was so heavy. It was. I'm, I'm, when I say it's literally 1,000 pounds, I mean dead serious. It broke the porch down. It was on. Broke the Broke the beam down whole porch had collapsed around it. It was so heavy. We had to use a tractor to pick it up. And then the tractor was bouncing off, off the ass end. And then we had to put it on the back of a truck. And then we rode to a convenience center to get rid of it. Oh, no, you can't. You, you got to empty the stuff out of it. Well, how do you empty stuff on a frozen day with frozen stuff in it? Because they, for some reason, the EPA is pretty hard about putting dead animals back into the world. Is that strange to you? It's strange to me. So let's take it to the dump. So we take it to the dump. This is the dump. This is where egg cake everything. The dump. This is where everything goes. I used to pull up to the dump and I'd have everything. When I was, had my business, we'd go in there and dump brush. Or I'm mean, usually I kept the brush at my house from, from a big burn pit. I had a 10 foot wide burn pit, huge burn pit for my kids. But any trash off a job, it, just a bunch of junk, we would take to the dump. Anything. You, the only thing you couldn't take was tires. You had to stack them up in one area and wood and stuff would go in the wood area where they grind it up in mulch and then they take a magnet through and get all the wood, got all the metal out of it. So we go up there today. She's like, oh, yeah, go up to the building, too. We got a, or building now. We got a building egg. And there's a guy's like, hey, what's in it? Oh, dead animals. Oh, you got to go back down there and take them out. And then you can, you can, you can throw, that, you got to put them somewhere. Not here. You can't, you can't have dead animals here. And then bring us the freezer. We'll do, we're like, we got the, he had this monster freaking cat. And I'm not talking about the cat, the pussy cat. I'm talking a cat with tires as big as my Bronco. And he's exchanging equipment. And he's mashing stuff. All he had to do was take that freezer, mash it, bust the stuff out. We got to throw the stuff back on the truck. That freezer was twice the size of this freezer. And this was all this come out of that freezer. You got a coyote, three or four foxes, a mountain lion, a little lion, a little cat, and a raccoon. And oh yeah. This is what this is what country boys do. We we like to kill and we like to eat. So this thing right here was black and it still looks like crap now. But guess what? It cools so well, and look how good I got and the, the lid broke off of it, and I was trying to move it. Broke the lid off, but it's clean inside now. I don't know if you can see anything, but it's clean. So all I need now is some CLR, calcium, lime, and rust. This stuff works great. I get some of that, and I'll take all the rust off of it. This is just for outdoors. This is for extras, okay? This ain't going to ever be inside my house. But I'm going to get some CLR, get all the rust off of it. Like I said, I open the hinge up on it, on the door, and it's just plastic with a big metal spring which is hard. So here comes my backup to help me get this in the building. Uh, and we'll have another talk later. All right, God bless.